All right, welcome back guys. So right before we were getting ready to leave to do this tow test this weekend, I uh, got the Timberlands in. I've already removed one of the factory bump stops, but I just want to kind of go over what these do and, and what they don't do. So I do have a set of new uh, pack brake airbags that'll go on this truck or brand new in box. I'm not going to install them on this truck um, because I don't install them typically on a lot of vehicles because they take a lot of upkeep meaning you have to adjust air pressure all the time unless you have the onboard compressor, which I had on my 08 diesel um, dually, and it was a, it was obnoxious and noisy and stuff like that. So uh, because I don't haul all the time, uh, I started putting these Timberlands on almost every truck. Uh, sumo springs are very similar um, concept of what they do. Okay, these are progressive, so there should be, once we get them installed, about two inches below the bottom of the this and where it contacts the axle. If for some reason you put these in you don't have that maybe you got the severe service ones and I've heard some people say that they put these on there and their ride sucked after that now that shouldn't happen um, but I'll show you here in a minute how much room you should have but they're very simple to install Chevy ones are a little bit more of a pickle to install than the Ford ones the Ford ones unbolt uh, the factory bump stops unbolt and then you bolt the new ones up I think that's a little bit easier than these uh, because you're gonna need a pretty hefty uh, pry bar um, I've heard people use jacks to put them on. The instructions even say you can squeeze them in, put them in with your hands. Yeah, I've never had much luck with that, but let's take a look at this. Here is your part number for Sierra four wheel drive, two wheel drive, 2500 GMR CK 250. And <clears throat> just keep in mind, there are a lot of cheap knockoffs they'll be using these brands. I've tried a few other ones. They're a little bit less expensive. Only to find out that they uh, are junk. <clears throat> I don't even put them on. I just, you know, over time I was like, well, I'll give the cheap ones a shot. I don't, <clears throat> I don't mess with that. But if these come unassembled in multiple pieces, they could look like that. Most of the time they're going to come assembled. So for this, you're going to need, uh, you know, just a, a smaller flat blade screwdriver. Then you're going to need some type of pry bar. Uh, and then you're going to need a little, just a little spot of Dawn dish soap and everything like that. All right, so we're under here. This is the side that's not done. And I would recommend that you uh, you keep your factory bump stops. Because um, if you want to upgrade to a different truck, you can, uh, you can reuse these. Pop them out and put them in. So that's all it took. Um, I'm filming in doing that. So these don't need to be cleaned or anything. And uh, I'll show you how we get the other one in here in just a second. All right, so this is the last one we haven't installed yet. I just get it a little wet right there, make sure it's clean. And then I take the handy dandy Don disc soap and I put it on there like that. That's kind of drizzle it on there. The reason they say spray it down with soapy water, but I'd rather just get it right there and then we'll get it popped in. All right, so now that you get it wet, just uh, kind of get it back here and you can go from the front or back, whichever floats your boat. But I like trying to get a, a, one of the opposite edges in up and I'm gonna take the actual screwdriver and I'm gonna kind of pry it up. All right, so then like I said, uh, of course my neighbor's mowing his lawn right now. Um, nonetheless, you're just gonna keep working it until you get that upper lip in there. Um, this is a pretty hefty screwdriver. I have a nice pry bar, but seem to have misplaced it at this moment once you get them snapped up in there like I said right now it's not even all the way snapped up in there we got at least an inch or so and you can see how it's concave right there so I mean all in all if that's touching already and you have no weight in your bed um, you might have got the severe service ones you don't want those for just your standard truck and if you're going sumo springs you want black or blue probably because their yellow is their extender or uh, severe service all right guys, so they are installed. So this is about $250 worth. They'll last forever. There's no maintenance. And what they do is once we start putting weight from say a gooseneck or trailer that's gonna close that gap and eventually it can touch. But what that does is then it provides resistance back, helping not only level the truck, but also for that sway. So I love these things. They make them for the front. I've never put them on the front, but you more certainly can. And that, my friends, is a 15, 20 minute install, maybe 30 minutes if you've never done them before. You know, you have to locate some Dawn dish soap or some type of pry bar. But I mean, honestly, head down to your uh, local Harbor Freight store and buy just a 
$9 pry bar. Have that handy in your garage because it'll pay for itself in this one install. Um, but I'll put the link of where I found these. And again, if you search far and wide, you might be able to find them less. Uh, if you do Sumo Springs, um, again, black or blue only. Um, I just wouldn't do yellow. That's very severe. But um, hey, man, teach your own. Uh, it just will affect your ride. So once you install them, if they're kind of a pickle like this, keep that in mind. You might be like, well, now I want to take those off, send them back, and they may not give your money back. So, um, And if you do have any questions, you can always reach out to me. Uh, I've ran both black and blue sumos, and Timbrens are Timbrens, so as long as you don't get the severe service ones, um, you're good to go. So, guys, hit that little subscribe button down on the corner. Tomorrow we're going to be doing some towing. i got the rest of the LED lights coming in the future um, to just bump those up. And um, appreciate y'all being here and part of the journey. See you on the next one.